unsponsored unboxing video of the DJI Neo drone, the more flight package. It's my first drone ever. I've never even flown a drone, so it's going to be pretty simple. Just going to unbox this thing, charge it up, fly it, and hopefully not crash it. So yeah, comes like this in the uh, cellophane package. We'll open it up here. That's what that is. Controller. There's the drone. Pretty, uh, pretty tiny. Not that I'm an expert on uh, drones. As I said, pretty easy to remove the battery. It's got some sticker on there. Get rid of that later, have a look at it. Yeah, there's the drone. The controller. Oh, the little knobby things are in here. My technical language won't bore you with any of that either. Knobby things. Get that out of there. So, also no expert on controllers, but it seems pretty standard. There's the phone holder. Yeah, phone uh, hooks onto it like that. It's pretty cool. It also connects wirelessly to the phone. And you can control it with the phone. You don't actually need the controller. But uh, of course, with that scenario, I assume you'd be limited in distance because whether it's the Wi-Fi or it's probably Bluetooth, I'm not sure. It's probably not gonna go that far. This thing, I think, is supposed to go like a kilometer or something like that when you're using it with the controller. So we'll test that out, see if it works. I imagine I'll have stuff to update some firmware or something before I use it, charge it up. What else we got here? A couple of extra props. Hopefully I don't need those. Got the instruction manual and the box with the charger and two extra batteries because the flight to fly more package comes with three batteries. Seems pretty straight ahead. And oh, a screwdriver. Hopefully I don't need that either. The um, little dongle to, I'm assuming this is to attach the controller to the phone. Somewhere. Oh, that's the Can't be back here. Anyway, so I guess I'll read the instructions and figure that out. Um, and a charge cable. So that's that, the DJI Neo fly more package. So yeah, we'll be back with a charged unit and the app on my phone and then we'll give it a fly and see how that goes. So here we have the unit charging. You can see one of the batteries is charging and the controller is charging. And that little sticker that was on the back said, charge to activate the battery before using for the first time. We're all charged up. I don't know, it took maybe a couple hours. Controller lights turn off when it's charged up. You can see the battery lights are all still on. Disconnect this stuff. Take one of the batteries out. Here's the app I downloaded, 
Scan barcode QR code. Where is that? Hey, it worked. Okay, so now I got that. That looks like what I want. Downloading the app. Okay, so it's looking to connect. So press the button, press and hold for two seconds. Turns on. All right, let's see what it does here. Okay, allow the Bluetooth. Would like to access your motion and fitness activity. Use the mobile devices, altitude information for synchronization, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Microphone. Sounds good. Save files, yeah. Allow full access. Uh, location info, hardware info, approximate location. We'll authorize those. Successfully activated, ready to go fly. Cool. Oh, new firmware. Download that and then uh, be back to pair the controller and maybe go for a flight. So it's the next day. Uh, I got the controller and the drone all charged up. I had downloaded the app on my iPhone. I'd updated the firmware. I watched a couple of videos. Nothing too technically challenging about it. Just uh, took a little while. Kind of annoying as usual, as expected. And then I realized that the iPhone uh, has to connect through this adapter. So there's like in the controller here that comes with a cable to attach to the phone, right? Which is a USB-C cable for an Android. And then this adapter for the iPhone. So I could, you know, I have the app installed and all that on the iPhone, so I could fly it remotely with the phone itself. But my problem is that my charging port on my older iPhone is damaged. So I've been using a charging pad and makes it pretty much useless for using it with the controller. So then I went on to install the app on my Android and we'll see if that works. Let's see if we do the uh, connection guide. Uh, I want to use the app. Wow. Initializing. Connection guide. So I'll turn this guy on. I have to get new select. And I'm just going to go ahead and turn this guy on. You press once, then hold the button for two seconds. Turns on. We're going to connect via mobile device. I have to go to settings again. Turn my Bluetooth on. <laughs> okay. So I got that. All right. Back to the mobile device. Select the DJI Neo. Press and hold for three seconds to pair. Connect. Connected. All right. Some warnings about choosing suitable flight environment. Got that. All right. Your first flight, take off, film and follow mode, land. So a little tutorial. So I'm going to skip that because I've already watched it on YouTube and select don't show me that tutorial again. And you're ready to go. Take off and start recording. So it's paired. Now I'm going to hook it up to the remote. So it's ready, ready to go in flight mode, but yeah, should be able to just slide in here like so. It's pretty good. Grab this dongle. Plug it in. I think that's plugged in. So I'm going to troubleshoot this or and um, be back. Okay, so I guess what it was, uh, was that the case on the, um, on the Android phone was getting in the way. It wasn't quite plugged in. So I just took the case off and plugged it in all the way and it automatically popped up with the option to always connect to the remote when the phone is hooked up. So we got, and now we got my Okay, so now at least I figured out how to get it connected. I'm going to try to fly. Here we go. Auto takeoff. Oh, look at that. It's too hot. Okay, here we go again. Uh, I think we might have it. We'll give it a try. Trying to fly. 
thick three or something like that. Okay. Oh yeah, and I've got the wireless mic hooked up. Just started recording, so we'll see if the uh, wireless mic and that works. Let's see, can you see the drone? Out of the way. didn't get the wireless microphone working the sound is from the camera still haven't figured out how to get the voice uh, mic working with the remote it's probably right in front of me just was impatient and wanted to get flying I think this was about 30 meters up, just above the trees here, and the drone threw up a wind warning. It started to wobble a bit, so I brought it back down. You can see the trees moving a little bit, but it wasn't super windy. It is a very small drone. Definitely better to fly it on a calm day. Here I'm trying to use the home feature, but I'm accidentally pressing the land button. So what it's wanting to do is go straight down from wherever, whatever position it's in and land. Good thing is, is that it overrides with a click of the controller, a move of the, of the controller stick. So here again, I'm trying to get it pressing, I think I'm pressing the home button. Again, first time I've ever flown a drone. And instead of coming back to where it took off from, it's trying to go straight down. There you go. At least I didn't crash it. Okay, so here we are testing out the drone for the first time with the app control, not the controller. Seems easier to turn the audio on and off this way previous way with a fail. Seems awfully close. Direction track feature with the app here. 
wonder if you can see that up there. I wonder if it's recording my voice. Can you go? That's 10 meters, apparently. Doesn't look like 10 meters coming back, right? Looks like maybe it's struggling with the wind a little bit. This is the rocket feature with spin. Back she comes. So this is direction track, no controller in hand. Not sure how I get it to come back and land, but I guess I'll figure that uh, out after. So I'm changing direction, see if it picks me up. Oh, it's following now. It's gonna catch up. So if you put it on direction track, and turn around and walk the other way, then it follows. So basically it'll only go one direction it looks like. Unless maybe I do a circle. Yeah. Yeah, so if I do a complete 180, then it doesn't know what to do. But if I walk in a circle, then it stays in front of me. And this is the far and high setting. It's not actually very far or high. I can't imagine what the close one is. Maybe there's another setting I haven't found yet. Anyways, I don't know how to get this thing back. Come. I guess I just hold out my hand. And it comes and lands back on my hand. Off! Dog was gonna jump up and grab it. Woo, that was close. Good times. So all in all, a little bit of a learning curve, but it is what it says it is. It's a bunch of preset functions and things that you can use to fly it, do little pre-run routines. It is definitely easier, I think, to fly with the controller than the controllers on the app. But I'm not sure how to hook up the audio yet. So a couple things to work on. And yeah, it's a little bit susceptible to wind. It did overheat. I was, I guess, setting stuff up. I had the drone on and the controller on for maybe five minutes and when I went to take off it gave me a overheat warning and told me to shut it off and let it cool down. So that was interesting. It was fairly warm today. Not like wasn't ridiculously warm, maybe twenty five degrees. So we'll see how it performs in the long run. Like I said, I'm pretty happy with it. Unsponsored review. Fairly economical drone. It is easy to use. It did take a couple hours of updating things and watching a couple of videos to get going. But pretty easy. Happy with it. Look for more videos. Like, comment, subscribe.